Hello, my name is Brad Langdell, and I want to talk to you today about balancing equations with oxidation numbers. You know, back in the day, you used to balance equations just kind of by trial and error, and sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't, and mostly we gave you ones that worked really nicely, so it didn't seem that hard. But in reality, you can balance equations, particularly redox equations, using this method, it works really nicely. Here's the big thing to keep in mind, it's the conservation of matter. The number of electrons that are lost in any sort of chemical reaction has to equal the number of electrons that are gained in that same reaction. And that's the big idea we're going to exploit here in order to balance this equation. Here's our example. Here we have three species on either side. The first step we're going to do is we're going to go and determine the oxidation number of each of these different uh, species, each of these different ions and atoms. So the first one I'm going to start off with here, I got iodine, it's in the element form. It gets an oxidation number of zero, because all elements have an oxidation number of zero. Oxygens are always negative two, so that's an easy one to fill in. And uh, the oxidation total of the oxidation numbers has to equal the charge in the ion. So here, if the oxygen is a negative two, then uh, chlorine's got to be positive one. That way, negative two and positive one will give the negative charge in the chlorine and oxygen ion here. All right, here we've got uh, negative two again for oxygen and positive one for hydrogen. That again will total up to give me the negative one charge on hydrogen or on the hydroxide ion. Negative one for chlorine. Chlorine's a monoatomic ion, so its charge matches this oxidation number. Uh, we've got three oxygens here, and so that's three times negative two is negative six in total for the oxygen, and that means I need to have, this is gonna be a little weird, positive five for the iodine. Why positive five for that iodine? Because the total charge is negative one. So negative six plus five, negative one. And again, you know the routine by now. Here we've got negative two for oxygen, and there's two of the hydrogens. Each of those is positive one, so that balances out to be neutral. So we have our oxidation states figured out. Now the second thing here is I'm gonna look at what is losing electrons, what's gaining electrons in this reaction. So let's look at the iodine first. Iodine is going from an oxidation state of zero up to five. What's happened there is the increase, uh, the oxidation number is increased, so this is an oxidation. Anytime you see that number go up, it's an oxidation reaction. And that's a loss of electrons. And in this case, we had go, uh, we'd gone from zero to five, so that's a loss of five electrons per iodine ion, or 10 electrons per iodine the element. And since I'm dealing with element, uh, elemental iodine here, this is the one I'm going to be worried about. I'm losing 10 electrons here in this reaction. Where are they going? Where's the gain? Well, let's take a look here at the other species that has an oxidation number change. It's the chlorine. This is a reduction because we're going down an oxidation number. We went down from negative 1 to 0, pardon me, from positive 1 to 0 to negative 1. That's a change of 2. So we gained 2 electrons here. Now remember, the number of electrons gained has to equal the number lost, which means if I want this equation to balance, what I'm gonna need to do here is go and put a five in front of that chlorine. And that way, five times the two electrons that are gained will give 10 total electrons gained by this ion, and that is going to balance out the 10 lost by the iodine. So now that I have the number of electrons gained and lost the same, I know the two coefficients that are going to go in front of those, those species. And that's going to allow me to go and balance the rest of it without too much trouble. I know that those are two are correct. You can put a little check mark next to them if you want. Now let's go balance like we always did. So we have two iodines. We need two iodines. There we go. Those are balanced. I need five chlorines. Put a five there. I know those are all correct. Now I'm going to look at the oxygens and hydrogens. These are always the ones that are a pain. Uh, here I've got five, six oxygens. Here I've got six, seven. Okay, so I need to get seven on the left-hand side. I'll put a two in front here. Uh, five plus two is seven oxygens. Now let's check over here. I've got six, seven oxygens, perfect. And two hydrogens, two hydrogens. I got a one here. It's balanced. That wasn't so bad. If you need more help with balancing with oxidation numbers, you can check out my website. There's more examples there at ldindustries.ca.